welcome to Life with Bilson. I'm your host, Bilson. Freaking right am. Boys, I went to get out the X Max to take for a little dig for a video for you. The gear is stripped inside or something like that because it's been so long since I used it, I couldn't remember if I broke it last time or not. But I'm going to power wash this thing real quick and I'll show you what I do to clean them off and you can tell me what you think in the comments below. But don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell bar button too. Why wouldn't you? The first thing I do is throw her down there. There we go. So once you're done this, make sure you don't plug it in right away, boys, okay? I know it's all waterproof and everything like that, but don't plug it in. Hopefully you at home have air, because I do. So I in order to blow it off with air and this and that and the other, it's gonna rain like a motherfucker any minute now. But anyways. Normally I blow it up with air and then I WD-40 it. So let's blow it up with air now and uh, we'll see how she looks when we're done here. So as I was blowing this off, I've noticed one thing that is broken I'm gonna have to address before we can even drive this thing. In here, in the front housing, you can see I've cracked the diff case. Can you see in there? Hopefully you can. If you can't, you just gotta take a word for it. In there, there's a big crack on the diff case. Back one looks good, but the front one's definitely cracked. It hasn't been making any gear noise, which really blows my mind, because normally when you crack a diff case like that, you hear crunching or something, but she hasn't been making any noise, boys. She sounds quiet, eh? Freaking right it does. But after you're done doing that, give a quick blow job there. Get out your old WD-40 and just give her a fine little coat, boys. Don't worry about electronics, they can handle it. One thing good about uh, WD-40, it keeps your plastics nice and soft. Okay, so they don't dry out. I don't break too much on this thing. I think the diff case and one pole hit, I broke something once, but that's about it, boys. I'm, I'm a big WD-er. I WD everything. I'm not afraid of it, eh? It's only WD-40, boys. Keeps her nice and wet. Decent. So there we go, and uh, now we'll have to look for a diff case and see what we can find for that. I don't know if I have one or not, I might, but I might not. We'll get the gear tightened up the back. It's just uh, the main gear is just turning, eh? Spinning. And we'll get the front diff taken apart and changed out. And maybe change the shock tower. I got these, because this one's kind of dickered. But other than that, that's what I do to clean my RCs. So hopefully you do the same thing, and if not, give her a try. But if you don't want to give her a try, don't. Hey, it's not easy, boys. But it works really good for me. Keeps them looking nice, shiny, and new. And Bob's a friggin' up. I'll let this RC sit over here now for probably three days or so. And just let her drip dry. And then I'll get change and stuff in her. But I can't see dick all. So I'm gonna have to uh, clean my glasses off, boys. There we go. Decent. How you doing? Hey, how the hell are you doing? You can always give it a quick wipe down if you want. If you're nervous about leaving all that tries it, give it a quick little dab. But seriously, you don't have to. Honestly. She likes WD. These things love it, boys. You love it, especially the shocks and stuff. Like, listen to that. I've only had a change of bearing in this thing once. I've had it for about two years now, just so you know. So tell me what that tells you. Tells me it keeps it lube, it does, okay? But this is just a short little RC maintenance video of how dirty old Ron will stinky old Bilsip does it. So leave your comments down below if you like the way I do it, or leave your comments down below if you do it the same way. Hopefully you do, but if you don't, you don't. That's the way she works. I missed a friggin' four engine with a middle pusher this morning. For anybody that likes my train videos. Kinda of bummed, but I was still sleeping. What do you do, eh? Friggin' right. But hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. I appreciate it. By the way, Day five of the holidays and Corona's free so far, boys. Hopefully you're staying the same. Love y'all. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And you know what to do for now. I just want to pop back on here real quick just to show you this. I think I did put her away broken. Just saying, right? That, uh, that layer don't look too good, boys. So I'm thinking I might need a gear change or two. What do you think? Leave your comments down below if you think that looks the way it's supposed to. Where the hell wouldn't you?